back at the Anatomical Pathology Show, and now we're talking about immunohistochemistry with an expert, Tyler Liebig. Tell us about this pretreatment module and this workflow solution that we have here. One of the challenges, especially small histology laboratories are seeing today, is they've been hit with a big decline in the reimbursement they're getting for performing tests in-house. They're motivated to bring these tests in-house in the first place because it improves their turnaround time and increases their levels of service and brings a new source of revenue into the lab. One area that many laboratories haven't investigated is immunohistochemistry, because they were either too small or they didn't have the, um, the investment to bring, bring it in-house. So what we have here today is our, our pre-treatment module and the sequenza, which this system is a way that some of these small laboratories have taken a, a baby step into immunohistochemistry. So the way these work is this is your pre-treatment device, where you can take slides and immerse them in a buffer to be treated. From there, they can be removed and they either are going to our automated auto stainer, which many labs use today, or a manual system like something like the Sequenza here. A slide is loaded into a capillary gap here and the reagents and rinse buffers are added to these slides and they're not being moved around, whereas when you're doing just a slide laying flat, you have to manipulate all the slides. And with this, together, you have the complete system that is able to treat and stain your slides so that you can get an immunohistochemistry result for a, a wide array of tests. These systems together are a, a way into immunohistochemistry or IHC as a whole that has a lot less investment than some of the other systems that are out there today. Learn more at thermoscientific.com pathology.